Hi, I'm Ken Shell. I'm a project director with Scanscom based out of our Philadelphia office. I'm working with uh, Kelly Highlands here of the uh, Healthcare Center of Excellence at the uh, Healthcare Design Conference. Well, the outlook looks pretty good, I think. The, um, what, what we've seen to find is the owners always seem to need to have uh, health care. Renovation seems to be the primary thing that they're going for this year. So we, we think it's going to be a, a good year for the, the, the work. I'm George Tingwald. I'm Director of Planning at Stanford University Medical Center. I'm a physician and an architect. I believe 2010 is going to be another year of uh, stabilization and seeing where things come. Uh, I think the uh, uh, market we hope will improve in 2012-2013 and we'll be able to move forward with projects that require uh, uh, funding through the markets. I am Monty Nagler from Farmington Hills, Michigan. I'm a, a photographer and a big part of our business is selling my photography to hospitals and healthcare systems. I think 2010, I, I, I really believe we're going to be up some from 2009. Because I, as I say, it is turning around and you know, we, we have some long range projects that are going to start happening in 2010. And uh, so I'm optimistic about it. I think we're going to be above 2009. Hi, Lynn Elgy, Gilbane Building Company, uh, National Manager for Sales. Mixed, I think. I think it's that's the best way to say it. We're cautiously optimistic, but there's still a lot of hesitation in the healthcare market in terms of projects being released. There's a lot of projects that are being analyzed in terms of, is this what we really needed? We had this great master plan. Maybe we don't need to spend all that money. Maybe we shouldn't spend all that money there's still hesitation in terms of actually releasing the money. Hi, I'm, I'm Henry Domke. I'm an artist that makes nature art for healthcare. Well, who could predict the future? Who ever predicted this profound recession? So, and I, I mean, like I say, I'm an artist. I'm no economist, so good luck asking me questions. But what I'm trying to brace for is, you know, I think that uh, people like my age, uh, the baby boomers, are getting older, and we're going to need healthcare. Our hospitals are worn out, and uh, there's new technology that requires different infrastructure, there's new codes, and so I, I think there's no choice but for the business to grow. There's no choice. Now, the question is, will this recession that we're in uh, continue to cause profound damage into next year? I'm not going to venture a guess. All I'm saying is uh, I'm prepared to market more heavily, and I anticipate even much greater growth. I just don't know if it'll be next year. I'm David Allison. I'm a director of graduate studies in uh, architecture and health at Clemson University. Uh, professor there, uh, and so I get a chance to kind of observe the industry as a whole. Well, I think several things have to settle out. Of course, access to money for capital construction is, uh, is you know has to resolve itself, and also healthcare reform has to be want to figure out what what they're going to get reimbursed for and how much before they, uh, and so people are putting projects on hold uh, while they're waiting to see how things settle out and while they're waiting to get access to the money for construction and stuff like that. So, um, so I'm hoping and I think next year will be better. It's the, the people I talk to say it's turned the corner, uh, but, uh, but it's still not, it's still just making that sweep up.